dollar index continued its bear run last week as well and it has gone close to 101 levels the next support levels you can see diminishing body size does this mean that the bearishness is done or there is further more, more crash awaited which can take the prices towards 100 levels and below we will see with the help of charts and indicators and towards the end i will give you the levels to watch out for this will definitely help you in deciding the direction of not only the dollar but associated currencies and as well as commodities including gold and silver do watch this till the end and if you're new to the channel do subscribe to the channel to get the latest updates on major global markets and commodities also you can be a channel member and get the additional perks now let's start first we'll look into four hour charts see if you notice the four hour charts you will find prices continue to stay bearish lower lows then retracement then lower lows and right now it is still trading with a bearish bias yes the prices are a little divergent from the moving average which suggests that it can try to converge now remember on the upside 100 to 102.5 is the zone it's need to break beyond only above 100 to 102.5 levels you can say that the prices are turning bullish as long as 100 to 102.5 is not taken you should not be treating the reversal in the dollar index and then beyond this the next milestone is 104 104 we have seen triple top on weekly charts we have to be careful there first of all can it move towards those levels let's see see the stock i stick is rising it is showing a reversal there but this is on the four hour charts a drop there retracement and now after a slight drop it is trying to converge thus a possibility of a little retracement on the upside exist where we can see the dxy moving if it stays above 101.6 101.7 zone we can say we will look forward to 102 levels which is the next milestone rsi is almost flat here on the four hour charts coming to the daily first of all look at the daily charts consistently lower lows were created then see first breakout a consolidation next breakout now you must also note that this could be a potential reversal sign here if the prices fails to trade lower below 101 that is the first point but you also remember 101 is very very good support and if you see it the price is again staying above 101.7 and 102 zone you can consider that a reversal can be expected now see the moving average 20 period is right now sitting at around 102.6 levels 100 and the median of the Bollinger Bands at 102.8. Thus, this zone here at first 102, 102.6 and then 102.8. Very, very strong resistance exists here. Also, one must notice this is a little divergence of the price from the moving average. Thus, it can try to converge. The 50 and 100 period crossing over here sitting at 104 certainly is going to be the next support levels. Also, if you notice this lower lows, right now it is just shying of it. Possibly the next lows which we are looking at is, is at around 100.6, 100.4 zone which is going to be a major support levels for the DXY. The only cause of concern is the this candle, this could probably a signal of reversal or a retracement where prices might try to move towards 102 zone slowly. A stock I stick looking down, MACD has again crossed over trading with divergence and bearishness. One must note that see these are the lows if you divide into two it has hit a double bottom here now it is trying to create a near term double bottom which means that the possible bottom for the dxy is very nearby and that is why i say 101 100.6 could be the support levels but it does not mean that it cannot fall further look at the lows what it has created here and it is now again looking downward so i will definitely watch out for 101 100.6 any drop below 100.6 certainly should be an indication that there is a further crash awaited. RSI looking downwards, coming to the weekly. Now, first on the weekly charts, you will find 104 as the double top, triple top levels. Last week, we have seen the prices reversing and traded with more bearish bias. Then, last to last, to last week was an extremely bearish bias. And last week also, we have seen the bears continuing here. And the price is continuing to trade on the downside now look at the size of the candle certainly it's the diminishing body size which suggests that next week lower lows potentially we can expect it to move towards this zone at 100.6 100.8 and that should be the support which gold might uh the dx white might try to take and from these levels the potential to show a swing exists that it can try to remain within a very narrow zone between 108 
100.8, 100.6, and on the upside we can look forward to 102. So this is going to be a potential trading zone for the DXY for the coming week. First, it may try to rise a little, followed with a drop towards the end of the week, which can take it towards the bottom and close at around these levels. So this is one probability which I am looking at. Moving averages now started to converge and looking downwards. So it is a bearish sign. The stock stick is hitting at bottom. While look at Mag now Magdi, which is crossed over here, it's traded with divergence. It is looking downwards again. But one must notice after this sharp fall, this was the triple bottom levels. Since then we have retraced and it is now again trading with divergence and bearishness. So potentially this could be the last bearish week for the DXY. Though it can continue on the downside, it right now is divergent and there is no sign of reversal as of now. RSI is also looking downwards. This is also a bearish sign here. Coming to the monthly, for last 10 to 15 years, the DXY has been trading in this channel and this is a bullish channel. This is an upward looking channel and this is for last 10 to 15 years. We have seen it trading in this zone. Now what has happened after the drop, it has retraced and now again looking downwards. Also, the candle is going to close in red and hence the possibility for the DXY to move towards 104 levels is negligible for at least next week and hence it can either try to move towards or close the week at a slightly lower levels at around 101, 100.6 that is a probability to it. So we can expect a narrow trading zone between 102.6 and 100.6 levels here. That is my expectation. Also, now 50 period moving average sitting at 100. Now 100 is a great, great support, which is not only uh, important for with respect to 50 period moving average, but also psychological support for the DXY. Because below 100, certainly more bears are waiting for the coming months. Right now, it is looking downwards. It can continue to accelerate here. And yes, the bottom is far below at around 95, 97. If you look at the stock, I think this was overbought and it is now looking downwards, bearish sign. Look at MACD. For MACD at the year beginning itself, we have mentioned that it has achieved the peak here and potentially from these levels, it may continue to trade with divergence and bearishness. That is what has happened and it has further, see, what has happened midway, it has tried to converge. Now it is again looking downwards, which has uh, potential for it to continue on the downside from these levels. So next few months potential for further lows exist for the DXY. RSI looking down as well. So now we have seen the charts, we have seen the indicators. Time for me to give you the trading levels and strategy. And yes, if you want to learn this art of trading where you can also analyze the chart, simply take the position accordingly with the help of simple tools and strategies, you can join my mentorship batch. The 28th batch is announced. Be a part of it commencing on January 2024. You can find the details regarding curriculum, timings, fees, everything on my platform forexfunda.com. Also, you can be part of my signal channel. And yes, uh, if you want to be part of a webinar, there is a free webinar today where every Saturday we discuss and teach the key concepts completely free. Also, every Sunday we have a webinar where we discuss what to expect from the markets in the coming week. I take a holistic view of the indices, commodity, currency and the volatility index and give you the day wise breakup and also I take up your live questions there. So do register for the paid webinar as well. And yes, this comes with two free consultation where every consultation is a live consultation and you can discuss one to one with respect to any of your trading existing trades, existing positions or a futuristic prediction you want me to make. And we can also discuss anything whichever you like with respect to trading. So do register for the webinar, visit the platform forexfunda.com or reach out to me via telegram or email. Now first, let's talk about the levels to buy. On the upside, I will recommend you to buy here at 101.4 levels directly. Beyond 101.4 is where we can look forward to a little bullishness towards 101.67, 101.68. And 102. Now 102 is the next bigger milestone which it needs to sustain on a daily closing basis. If 102 is taken, then only a little rise can be expected towards 102.28, 102.4, and 102.6. Now remember 102.4, 102.6 zone should not be taken as long as these levels 
as long as 102 102.6 zone completely is respected prices will start to reverse again and continue to trade on the downside now when it comes on the downside where to sell only selling entry at 101.2 then we will see 101 101 is a very 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 good support here only below 101 where further bearishness may prevail we can look forward to an accelerated bearishness towards 100.7 100.5 and then below this it will try to touch 100 levels that is for sure now this zone 101 very good support here exists for the dxi and below that is where little bearishness can prevail but 100 should not be breached on the downside thus a potential narrower trading zone is what we can see between 100 to 102.6 102.5 levels take your trades accordingly like share subscribe and comment join my mentorship by signals channel and on join the webinar as well visit the place for or join my free telegram channel for live updates thank you very much have a great profitable trading week ahead thank you